You're in a privileged hey, position to learn a thing or two. Keep your mouth shut and your eyes open. What's going on, folks? It's probably going to be my last and string of videos right now. What I'm going to do is... Well, what I'm going to do is... For this video, I'm going to talk about something which... You guys should be doing anyway, but a lot of you guys don't. I don't know why. Well, it's called Check Your Leaders. And I'm going to talk about people who put themselves in a position of leader or an authority or an expert or who want to lead the people into something or want to do something. They should be, af be afraid to be held accountable. They should be afraid for people to, um, what am I looking for? Looking to get checked, if you will. And if I ask the questions, somebody shouldn't get real super seeker sensitive over the fact that someone is questioning your opinion or your authority. You know, you shouldn't get shitty if you get questioned. You shouldn't, you shouldn't, you know, you shouldn't talk down to them or you shouldn't try to talk down to them. Because I noticed on YouTube, we have a lot of these so-called leaders, religious and otherwise, who want to tell you something, but then when you question them or their methods, all of a sudden they get, they put their little girl panties on and they want to get all shitty and bitchy about the situation. It's happened to me, I'm not going to drop names, everybody should know who, who they are. So... I want to tell the people, watch out for like people like that. Like, like if they don't like their authority question, you know, more likely they got something to hide. They got something that they ain't telling you. Or if they don't answer your question, there's like a lot of these guys on YouTube, which, and I'm, I'm convinced a lot of people are just stupid. Because I want, it, it, like, I'll put a question. I'll put a question to somebody. I'll explain. I gave this guy a question about what he was talking about. He gave me an answer that was like, had nothing to do with the question. And I said, hey, man, you didn't, you know, answer the question. He said, well, I told you, I gave you an answer. It's just you're mad because it's one you don't like. Now, let me explain the type of question and answer that was given. Imagine you ask somebody, what colors the sky? And they tell you, dogs bark. Then you're looking at them like, seriously? Now, he gave you an answer. He or she gave you an answer. And, but it has nothing to pertain to the question. And that's how I know I can get you motherfuckers, because I have got you. Like, I've been, I've been like, barred from certain YouTube channels. My comments have been erased. Man, all this little girl bitch shit that these guys are doing, they're not, they're not your leaders. I mean, I had, I had, I made a comment one time, and this dude, a female, whoever they were, because they was a, like, they were like a ghost or sock pop of the count. They had like 20 more of their sock puppet accounts congratulating and running me in the ground. I was like, come on, man. You had the same writing style. I know it's you. But I digress. Most people who are, are like any leader, really, like if they're in that, that position, they should know what's going to happen. Like, look at this. I'm trying to run for president. Look at the stuff they got to go through. They get all their stuff scrutinized, this, that, and the fifth. You don't see none of them getting mad and saying, well, hell, I quit. I ain't run for president no more. You know? Me personally, even though I like my videos, I get questioned. If you look at a lot of these videos, I get questioned. I give my answer. Now, I'm not going to waver from any of my answers. I stand, I'm standing by my answers on a man. I stand by my word. I live and die by it. But you'll see a lot of these people waver and switch up. You got, you got, a, lot of, you got a lot of followers on Facebook that are trying to be leaders. You know what I mean? It's like... It's like this. Back in the old days, like World War II in Vietnam, you had the, like the, like the senior officer, superior officer, your, your officer in command, whatever. You'd be in the bush, you'd be in the, you'd be in the forest, you'd be whatever. Well, to not get detected and blended with everybody, he'd make the younger soldier, you know, whoever wanted to be, like, look like he was the rank guy, so they would go after him. Like a lot of dummies would volunteer for it. We have the same thing on Facebook. A lot of these people want to be like the leaders, but like, like I told this one guy about him, and he got mad, which is true. A soldier cannot be a general like that. And if you're still a soldier for all this long, you're destined to be a soldier. You need to like play your position and go for it. Like I don't pretend to know a lot. What I do know, I try to give it to you guys so you guys can research it. And like, if I'm wrong, put me to the test. Like, if something doesn't sound right, and you know it doesn't sound right, you don't question that person, 
don't get mad if that person gets in charge and like has something effect to do with you, your life or whatever. You, know, you have to ask questions of these people. Now, I know they don't like it, but at the end of the day, you rather ask a question and find out this person was phony than find out like down the road that they were phony and be mad at yourself. So, and a lot of you guys I'm tell you it's coming on. It's come. The day's coming on YouTube. I'm gonna quit doing all these videos and I'm gonna do stuff I want. I'm gonna do like like tutorials. I'm gonna do like little skits maybe. And I'm gonna come after some heads too. So. Uh, what the day's gonna come. I don't know when that day is gonna come. So a lot of you guys need to like take me off or block me or whatever, because I'm coming after some heads. Trust me, I am. When that day comes, it's not gonna be nice for a lot of y'all. So y'all need to put your ladies' dresses on, cause it's gonna be a problem. So I'm out here, peace.